What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 November Loot Pets box. I think this is the last Loot Pets box that I'm getting. I'm pretty sure I canceled this box, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. The theme for the Loot Crate was... Magical. I think I put mystery on the thing. I should probably change that. I'll change that in a second. The first, this is a very dog heavy box. I need to get rid of it. The first item we got are wizard wands. These are dental cleaning treats for dogs. I don't know what, why are they green? I don't know why they're green. Who knows? The next item we got is, this is from Steven Universe. It's a Loot Pets exclusive. I guess this is on Cartoon Network. I don't know what. Oh, his eyeballs squeak. This is a very interesting dog toy. It's like, just flat. I'm sure dogs love this. Mac! I think I scared him away with the squeakers. I don't think Mac likes squeaky things. Mac! Mac! I'm pretty sure Mac knows when I open this box and he runs as far away as possible. He's like, stop putting me in those dang shirts. I don't want it. <laughs> the next item we have is the Lord of the Rings, the One Ring Dog Collar. Oh, this is, this is really cool. I wish that I had a dog. So this is a collar that has the script that's on the ring. Let's see. This thing is like giant. Like, are dog collars one size fit all? I don't know. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, on the back it says that it was made for Loot Crate, which means if you get a My Geek box, it might show up in there. Who knows? And then the last item before the shirt is this, is this little like dog, I think this is like a dog tag thing. I think this is from Doctor Strange. That's what it looks like. It's like a little thing that you can put on the collar. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Okay, and then the shirt. This looks like a Doctor Strange shirt as well. This is really cool, look at it. It's it's a licensed Marvel product. How cool is that? So freaking cool. So it's this navy blue shirt. This is probably my favorite pet shirt that we've received so far. It's a Doctor Strange shirt, but it's made to look like an ugly sweater. Keep your fingers crossed, let's see if this works. Mac! Mac! Hey bud. Oh, hey kitty. Come here buddy. Come here. I want to pet you. Ooh, angry eyes. Come here. Hi. I ran out of wet food, so I've been giving him dry food, and his skin's getting heck dry. Hey, come here. I feel like he just knows. Like, he knows. You can't see him. He's right here. Here's his tail. Can I put this shirt on you? Oh, my gosh. I. He hates me so much when I do this. Wait, I'm not ready. I'm not done. <laughs> just bear with me, Mac. Bear with me. Oh gosh, he's already, he's already in the, yes, got it. <laughs> I, guys, Mac loves when I put shirts on him so much. He loves it so much. Do you like want to stand up there? Okay, so that was all of the items in the box. So you have the shirt. This is a cool shirt. Although this doesn't match the shirt that we got in the Loot Crate, which I thought that that's what they were trying to do, but I guess not. So, I don't know. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do some pricing and a recap. I'm going to try to do this without scaring Mac away. So the first item that we got is the Lord of the Rings dog collar. That's a pretty cool item, and it's licensed. I would probably give that, I think I'd give that eight. I know dog things are expensive. I don't know exactly how much collars cost. I've never bought a dog collar. Sorry, this is Mac's butt. I'm so sorry. Mac, come on, at least turn around. Okay, thanks. So yeah, I'd probably give this maybe seven, 750. That sounds about right. The Doctor Strange ugly t-shirt thing, I don't know how much I've been giving these, but I'll say, what do you think? Like $6, maybe $6. I think that's probably undervaluing a little bit, but we'll just do six. The dog treat things, the wand treats, uh, I'll give this five. I don't know how much those cost. The Doctor Strange Pet Charm, let's just do three. It's kind of, it's a little bit cheap. It's a little bit cheap. Uh, and then the Steven Universe Cookie Cat Plush Toy, that's probably kind of worth a lot. Um, we'll say, what, $8, $7? 
I think I might have undervalued. I'm gonna add, I'm, I, I did undervalue, you can see the price. I'm gonna add my 50 cents back to the dog collar to make that eight. And for the shirt, I'm gonna give this shirt $8. That seems kind of high, but we'll just say $8. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $31. I don't know how much I paid for it. Look, so you got a good pet out of this, right? Wait, don't ruin the pricing. This tray is not the, st the sturdiest thing in the world. Oh, he just sat down though, so maybe he likes it. Okay, this box cost me $25 a month. That's including shipping. So I got $6 extra value on top of what I paid for it. For $25, you probably want, you probably want more around eight, so I'm a little bit short. I'm $2 short, which I think that's how it's been. And I probably underpriced things because I don't know how much dog things cost. Um, like I said, I think this is the last month. I'm pretty sure I canceled this box. Um, so I think this is the last month I'm gonna get it. And if you have a dog, this box might work out better for you. But it's definitely not the most cat-friendly thing. Although Mac does look very good in the shirts that I get, so I don't know. But I am I'm on the lookout. I know there's some cat boxes out there, so I've been looking at some different options and seeing if that's something that I'm interested. So we'll just kind of wait it out and see. If I had to rate this box, I like the shirt a lot. I love the design of the shirt. I don't like, it sucks because there's been certain boxes that I feel like they've given us things that could potentially work for cats and dogs. This one I felt it was very dog heavy. Like everything in the box was meant for dogs basically. This collar would never fit around Mac. Well Mac doesn't even wear collars because he just, he's not a collar kind of guy. So I would just in my personal opinion, I would probably give this box a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. It was lacking a little bit of value and I just wasn't a huge fan of the items. But you know what? If you had a dog, like if Mac was a dog and I could use all this stuff, I probably would give this box more like a 4.25 out of 5 noobs and say that it's definitely lacking in the value a teeny bit and that could do better in there. And then I actually thought that little Doctor Strange, the little collar thing, uh, not the not the collar, but the little charm thing was a, like cheap. Like this thing looks really cheap. I don't know what happened, but it just seems like a very like dinky quality, like not very good. So yeah, I think that they could have done a little bit better with that. Made it a little bit bigger, just made it a little bit more full, like uh, maybe better material or thicker material because it looks like, like even the ring that it's connected to, I mean, you could literally pull that and it would probably, it would probably unbend itself. I know you can't really see it, but yeah. So yeah, I would, for me personally, I'm giving it a 3.5, but you probably could give it a 4.25, I would say, out of five noobs. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. For those of you who have dogs, what would you rate it? Is it, like, decent? For $25, $25 isn't that bad. I thought I paid $30 for it, so for $25, that's not that bad. Um, but again, I just don't have any dogs, so it's not as great for me, although I have a lot of friends that have dogs. So these things definitely go to use it's just not for me um, but let me know what you guys thought about it and re actually and also if any of you guys have any cat box suggestions I know some of you guys have shared those in the past but I think I'm serious about it now so share it in the comment section below if you've heard of any good cat subscription boxes or maybe I can try one out and remember if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is gonna come up shortly I wanted to just give you guys a quick reminder that my November giveaway is currently going on right now so if you go to my channel and click videos and then you scroll down and you find the video that's entitled 2016 November giveaway watch the video follow the instructions enter the giveaway by November 30th for your chance to win a one month subscription to a box of your choice that can be shipped to you wherever you are and uh, yeah you could pick the loot pets box I don't know if this is a good one to pick though I think that there's other ones that you could pick that are a little bit better but you know it's up to you uh, if you win. So yeah, make sure you do that by November 30th. And yeah, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Max says bye too.